my point is, as you can hear from the audience, he's becoming not a happy, popular guy anymore. Used to be no one knew who he was. Right, right. I bet when you bought your first Tesla stock, uh, 99 out of 100 people wouldn't know who he was practically. Or, you know, maybe not that extreme, but a lot of people didn't know who he was. Yeah. And now he's a villain. (laughs) You know, it's almost like let Trump on Twitter so that uh, Musk is not the biggest villain. So my question to you is, as a loyal fan who has not broken down yet and has total faith in Elon, when's your faith going to crumble? What's well, it going to take? Would, is he going to have to invade Poland? What's going to happen? I wouldn't say I have faith in Elon. I have faith in Tesla. Like the 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 mission of the company is solidly on track. They're they're doing great. I don't know. It it's not like this is going to derail what Tesla is doing. What happens if he starts doing crazy things? I know he mentioned in the last uh, conference call for uh, shareholders that he said something about you know in case I go crazy, this is like. Uh, you know, the backup, like like they can take over and do things. So it's almost like he was seeing it coming, but he's getting kind of Kanye. I'm just waiting for, you know, anti-Semitic tweets and then anti-climate tweets. I, I've predicted this for a while. I can see it coming. And, you know, it was like five years ago I saw an interview with him where he was interviewing a, okay, an attractive woman was interviewing him for a network. And he started flirting with her. And I thought, this is kind of unhinged, especially since, you know, he just ended one marriage and was looking for this. It was about to get his next. And he said, you know, do you know anyone I could date? In the middle of an interview mm-hmm. for a business channel. And yeah. it was just so bizarre that I started to lose faith in him and started to question. Um, it just makes me nervous. It makes me nervous. So, yeah. And now he's trying to make people with blue ticks on their Twitter account Um you know, pay $20 a month to have your, your verified account. Well, as we said many times, clean energy is going to win because it's better and it's cheaper. So whether he charges people on Twitter, I don't really see how that affects climate change. Uh, I see it as he's making stupid decisions, and yeah. I'm worried that those stupid decisions could make it into Tesla. And I asked myself, what... I, like I've said this before, what does it mean for Tesla to have a person like go off the rails who's running the company? Are they stable enough now? Does it matter anymore? Does is his uh, ingenuity, his his you know the things that he's developed like you know you know solving problems like uh, it costs too much, so we'll make one giant piece out of one casting machine. We'll build the machine that makes the machine. Um, if that goes away, is Tesla? Still, I mean, if he's, you know, wrapped up in, in, in cellophane somewhere talking to himself, uh, can <laughs> the clean revolution go ahead? That's my question to you. And you say it's probably okay, but I worry about it. Yeah, because clean energy is better and cheaper. So, you know, all this just seems like a distraction. It's not a distraction, though. It's, it's, a, it's a terrible thing. And, you know, here's another thing, Brian, and this is going to be a, a tough one for you. I have less of a desire to own a Tesla than I did two weeks yeah, I think that's true for a lot of people, yeah. And I think that could continue and it could get worse because he's, he's you know, gathering up all this this storm of, of disdain for him that, you know, people could be ashamed to drive a Tesla one day instead of proud of it. And that I worry about because if the company's bottom line is not good, you know, if it slows down, the fact is that's not going to be an issue for a long time because there's just so much demand, which we talk about every week on our show. Now, I'm blocking anyone who serves me an ad on Twitter because GM said that they were going to stop uh, temporarily serving ads. That didn't last long because I started getting GM ads again. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe it's a maybe it's a Canada-U.S. thing. Maybe they're still doing it in Canada. Well, I, it's true. I didn't get any ads at all when he took over Twitter for about two days. And then GM came back on, so I blocked them. And that's the one thing I might actually buy is a GM you know, car, <laughs> right? So they know yeah. that. <laughs> Uh, and, and it's just kind of weird because, you know, if everybody who has a blue check mark paid the 20 bucks a month, it'd be like $75 million, which is a drop in the bucket compared to the $5 billion in advertising. So it doesn't matter. So if you drive people like Stephen King off, you don't, you don't want to talk about this, do you? You really don't well, want to talk about this. There was a funny joke, one of the late night shows that if, I think it was, maybe it was Saturday Night Live. The joke was, um, you know, why is everyone so uh, upset that, that 
Elon Musk could ruin Twitter because it's not like it's this cherished. <laughs> it's already bad. Like it's a cesspool. It's a it's cesspool. A cesspool. Like who cares if he sinks it? <laughs> it's. I mean, all it is now is slightly better than Facebook. Like that's all you can say about it. I mean, I I, I will give him the benefit of the doubt for a while, and maybe he can clean it up. But so far, so far, his steps are not indicating that that will happen. But I mean, if he could get rid of bots. That would be a good thing. I mean, bots um, drive the discourse. Apparently, some people think. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I just, I just think maybe you're getting sucked into the clickbait news cycle. Like it, you know, like everything to do with this is fantastic clickbait. So um, whether it's positive or negative, it's, it's this stuff just generates tons of uh, publicity. I mean, he's only been running it for like three days. Like, what? <laughs> why do we all? Well, you he know? fired everybody and appointed himself king. He's yeah, like there in the skyscraper by himself in his underwear, yeah. doing God knows and what. And it's still better than Facebook. <laughs> uh, all you have to do is look at Mark Zuckerberg. Um, who would win in a, a, a nude wrestling match, Zuckerberg or Musk? <laughs> I think Zuckerberg would because he's studying martial arts. But anyway. I'd like to see that a, a tan off. They should do a tan off. <laughs> they should and see who burns the most.